the turns complete, do I then um, set the vertical speed? Uh, I think just change it uh, down yep. to 8,000. You, you can use vertical speed, or if you want to give um, flight level change a go, oh, you yeah. can do, do that as well. Yeah, I can do that. So you can even do that sort of part way through your turn, but it's a steep turn, so we might just yeah. have to straight itself. So the way the flight change mode works is it's going to lock in whatever speed you're currently doing and then try and ascend or descend via that speed. Now we can't pitch down to get to 8,000 feet and maintain that speed that you do because it's going to speed up. Yeah. So the only way that you can do it is to back the throttle off. So this is where you start controlling speed, oh, yeah. altitude, pitch and things like that just with your throttle. So anywhere around now I'm just looking at you having done that turn. You could, yeah, I just flipped on flight level change. Yep. So now he's going to try holding whatever that speed was that you were doing, but you can click it. So if you want him to go down and say five degrees or something like that, you need to back off on the throttle. Okay. Oh yeah, speed. I see. And then he'll start pitching down. So you get to pick what pitch feels nice for you. And it's usually about three to five degrees to set. Probably five degrees if you want to get down there halfway there. And this is also just helps you regulate your speed. So if you start getting down towards you know speed restrictions of 185 knots, um, this is where you go, okay well I need to um, you know, change uh, what I'm doing there. So what's your altitude now? So what I'd do at this stage, mate, is just dial in um, 4,500 for, for daylight and you pre-select them. Okay, now what's your um, vertical speed saying? There should be a vertical rate of change uh, on the vehicle. 1,950, about 2,000. Okay, no, that, that's, that's alright. What's your airspeed? 236. Okay. I'll probably try backing that off to about um, 200. That'll probably increase your vertical speed a little bit. Um, oh, I need to turn yeah. flight level change off to do that, wouldn't I? Because it's trying to maintain the speed. Yeah, you can, you can do that. Yep. And then what we'll do is we'll just, we'll just use vertical speed from here because this is about when you'd be using vertical speed rather than flight level change. It's just a little bit more precise and easy to manipulate. Let's set the speed to 2,000. Yep. To get us down to that 4,500 feet, because you passed fast for an hour. And you want to start just thinking about your airspeed. You don't want it to be too much more than 200 knots at this stage, so when we get to it, and it's easy to bring it down to 185. So what's your altitude? 6,600. Nice, doing well. And what's your airspeed? Vertical speed have you got set? 2000. 2000, okay. So try just backing the throttle off until your um, airspeed's about 200 knots. And what should happen then is that um, the pitch will change because he needs to adjust his pitch to maintain that vertical speed that you put in. So yeah. if you start slowing down and he needs to do 2,000 feet per minute, he's probably going to tip the nose down. Okay, so you're not far off daylight. What's your altitude? 4,800. A seasoned professional. So you can start now thinking about, um, uh, you could even put in 3,000 now for two months, even, even if you haven't got to 4,500. I'm just you have reaching it. it now. Yeah, okay. So 3,000 so. Yep. And the, the, the beauty of getting the, the new altitude selected before you hit the one you just had in is it'll just keep going. It's not a matter of it stops, tries to level out, then you activate another descent. 
you know what I mean. So before yeah. he gets to his 4,500, if he's still at 4,800 for instance, you can dial in 3,000 and he'll just keep going down towards 3,000. So it's just sort of one less thing to, to do. So we should be at 3,000 by the time we get to Dumont. Now, Erdon is only six miles beyond that. So once we get down to Dumont, start thinking about um, bringing your airspeed back to about 185 knots. And I'll change charts because I believe Erdon should be the start of our ILS approach. don't need to uh, change your altitude or anything at this stage when we get to 3,000 feet that's where you want to hit at Erdem and at that point you can change over your FMS to the localizer which it probably will automatically because you've got it in the nav mode and as soon as the aircraft picks up that frequency that 109 um, decimal 5 it should automatically change it over to the localizer and then your uh, indicator will turn green if it doesn't, then we'll need to jump on it uh, straight away. up the localizer you get the green diamond saying GS next to your um, altitude and that diamond is above halfway yeah. it should if once you switch over to localizer should be at the top and at that point you can hit um, the approach button and just keep flying straight and once it picks up the localizer it'll start tipping down and then you just control it the throttle so it doesn't speed in the ground at 100 miles an hour see up in that FMA, that flight mode enunciator at the top of the PFD screen, you should see a GS in white. Yes. Okay, that's telling us that the glide slope is armed, but it hasn't picked it up yet. When it picks it up, it'll go up solid green, and it'll do it automatically, and then it's locked onto the glide path. So really what you're doing now is once that diamond comes down to the top 
dot, there's two dots. At the top dot, you want to deploy your landing gear. Yep. And first and stage flaps at the same time. Uh, uh, first stage of flaps. Ah, uh, yes, you can go first stage of flaps um, at the same time. The second dot is second stage of flaps. So there are speeds at which you're going too fast to deploy flaps or deploy landing gear. So start bringing your speed down to about 150 and then you'll piss it in for, uh, for everything. And you should see, once you start sort of slowing down around 150 or so, you should see a white sort of bar on the, on the airspeed indicator on the left. I think it's around 120 knots and under. up the glide slope. It has. Yeah. Okay. Crank it back down to about 85 knots. You've got first stage of flaps out. Uh, yeah, I've got both out now because the glide slope thing's right in the middle now. Okay. Yep. No, that's that's fine. So did you see the white, the white part of the airspeed indicator on the on the left? Yep. Yeah. So once once you hit that, that's safe to deploy second stage of flaps. Yeah. So that's another. So right now you're coming down, it's captured the glide slope, you're fully configured for landing, which means you've got two statues, two stages of flaps out. You've yep. got your landing gear is down and locked. Yes. Your landing lights are on. Yes. Lovely. Inertial separator comes on. On, okay. Again, because we're getting down towards the ground, it's just to sort of keep shit from getting sucked into oh, yeah. the um, the turbines so when that comes on it takes about 20 seconds or so to come on just watch your speed because it might drop a bit yeah, i'm doing exactly 85 right now it's bloody it's perfect so you yeah, kill it just dropping below a thousand feet now nice so when you get down to your minimum so when you're about 250 220 something like that whenever you're comfortable around that height uh, that height turn off your yaw damper turn off your autopilot just before you turn off the autopilot though, just have a look at what your wind indicator is doing and just get ready, just to put your nose into the wind a little bit depending on how strong it is. So it's what's your wind showing? pretty much downwind. Um, I mean it's 135 degrees but it's pretty pretty much in front of me, a bit to the left. Yeah, okay. What's, uh, what's its speed? Nine knots, hardly anything. Yeah, okay. So it's just one of those things to be, uh, be aware of. So once you get down towards minimums, which I think was 210 feet, yep. um, disengage your damper sure that half bank is off it'll have a little white light next to the button if it's on it's off um, yep so 210 will be your damper off and that's actually the the height at which you would say out loud landing okay. because that's your that's your decision height that's what the minimum means it's your minimum height to make a decision um, and turn your autopilot off and it's all yours down on the ground awesome. 85 knots until you want to uh, flare out gently and then kill the power and you've done this greatest thing in Ireland I believe so can you do it at Sydney? Yeah <laughs> find out in a moment just in a minute to touch down but I am actually seeing you on the thing.
to um, pick a uh, taxi route off the uh, runway. You can uh, turn your landing lights off, taxi lights off, uh, taxi lights on, sorry. Depending how, how you feel, you can usually even turn your strobe lights off. You leave your nav lights on when you're taxiing around, particularly at night, but the uh, strobe lights are just annoying everyone on the ground. Taxi wherever you like, mate, and um, shut it down. At this point, once you're off the runway, we also tidy the flaps up, so put them back, oh, yes. back up. Your inertial separator, you leave that on. 